Hey everybody and welcome back to part two in our World of Warcraft Ashbringer modeling series. Now I must say I'm uh, pretty surprised about the amount of people that checked out part number one. Uh, it seems quite popular. Anyway, in this video we're going to continue. We're going to tweak the model a little bit. We're going to prep it and then we're going to UV it. Now before we dive into today's video, uh, I just want to give you guys a heads up. Uh, I had the distinct honor to be interviewed by Maria at Art Heroes. And that uh, full one hour interview is going to go up on their channel tomorrow morning, right? So I'll put a link below to the channel so you can check that out if you like. And that said, let's jump into today's video. Here we go. Okay guys, well, welcome to part two in our World of Warcraft Ashbringer series. And uh, before we get into UVing and all that good stuff, uh, let's uh, do a little bit more work on what we have so far, right? Now I want to tweak this guy a little bit and I want to tweak the blade a little bit. This looks okay. And this we're going to work on in ZBrush. So let's focus on that for a bit, right? So let me just uh, hide this here. And we'll take this guy and I'm going to right click, go to vertex and I drag, select these, hit W and kind of pull it out to here and then make that look a little bit more aggressive, right? And um, let me just see how that looks with the blade. I think it looks okay. Actually, this might go back a little. Yeah. Okay. So I'm happy with this so far. And um, yeah, let's focus on the blade for a minute. So get rid of that. We're going to go in here and we are going to go in and select face, hold in the tab key, select all those. We're going to flip around and you don't want those front faces. You just want the sides like we have right here. Okay. All right. Then we're going to do is we're going to control E to extrude and we're going to give it some thickness. And let's make sure we're going in the right direction. Yeah, let's do 0 0.1. Let's see if that's enough. Yeah, that would be fine. And then we're going to do is we're going to right click and go into edge and we're going to double click on this guy and we're going to shift double click on this guy. Right. And we're going to hit R and we're going to pull them out and kind of flare out a little bit like this just to make it look a bit cooler yeah all right and then we're going to do is we're going to jump in we're going to right click go to vertex and we're going to drag select all these top vertices here and maybe not these yeah let's just see how it looks yeah that's much better yeah i like that Okay, so we have that and then we can do if we like and uh, I'm doing this completely on the fly. So let's see if it turns out the way I want. And it drags like these and if you hit four for wireframe mode, you can see where they have them on both sides. Yeah. So I've got that I'm going to hit W. I'm going to raise that up a little bit like so. We'll take these. And I might come back on this. I'm just trying something here, right? So we'll take these. Actually, I'll take this one manually. And the whole point is I kind of want to have that shade on the blade. Yeah, so that's working. Um, maybe this should be a bit more like that. This should definitely come down a bit. And then we'll move this one up here. And this guy kind of defines the shape, but I think it's kind of cool. Oh, it's pushing down like that, right? So, yeah, that looks much better, much, much better. Okay, I'm liking it. Let's see, we need to sort this. We need to get rid of this and this right here. 
There you go. I keep nice and clean. And then we're going to go back in. We're going to go to mesh and uh, no, we're going to display and show all. All right. Yeah, I think it looks a lot better. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, next step is UVing. Now, UVing is a very tedious and lengthy process. I did tons of videos on how to UV. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on screen, but I'm going to do it as a time lapse, right? And then you can slow it down if you want to check it out, uh, because I assume you know how to UV. And if not, you probably shouldn't be doing this model and you should probably check out my other videos on that first, right? Okay, here we go. I don't care, it's a double dare I ain't scared you 
Hey guys, well, I typically don't do uh, time lapses, uh, as you know, but like I said, this is such a, a tedious and unpredictable process, and it takes some time. I still try to do it as fast as I could, um, you know, for the purpose of the tutorial. But yeah, that basically concludes part two. Uh, we got our low poly uh, UV, and in the next uh, clip, <clears throat> And the next part, we're going to take it into ZBrush and we're going to create our high poly, right? See you guys there.